Hello traders, I'm Shlomo Cooper and welcome to a pre-market video ahead of the opening bell on Friday. The first dip of 2018 didn't last very long. Stocks moved notably higher over the course of the trading day on Thursday. Here we see the SPY more than offsetting the modest pullback seen in the previous session. Actually, ever since, you know, last summer, we've really, let, let's move to switch to the daily chart. We really struggle to have any meaningful uh, pullback. Charged to a full battery, the major averages climbed to a new record closing highs yesterday. The S&P 500 paired gains briefly um, in late afternoon trading after New York Fed President William Dudley said tax cuts could lead to economic overheating. He predicted above trend GDP growth and with rising inflation in 2018. Now, Dudley is touching on something that investors should fear. The only threat to the stock market right now is high interest rates. If rates are higher, the present value of equities may be just too high. But that was, as you can see on the chart, just a very temporary pause yesterday as the S&P was able to charge even higher, ending the session at its best levels of the day. This is the smart money indicator I often talk about. Usually most of the trading of institutions is being done late in the session. When the stock market is finishing the day at high of the day, that tells you there is a lot of appetite for more and lots of confidence to hold positions overnight. I just love it when the index closes at its best levels of the day and you should too. Boeing BA was yesterday the biggest contributor of gains for the Dow Jones. Boeing is one of the companies that stands to benefit the most if economic growth rushes up. Um, it was a smooth uptrend all day long for Boeing and just take a look together with me on the daily chart how on the daily chart Boeing has already shifted the gear into a high level what a rapid pace in the last five days or so now one of the most common questions you know I get from traders is how to trade those stocks on the radar we feature daily many times traders are amazed by the huge movements those stocks on the radar are doing, but they don't know where to get in and enjoy and benefit from it. Let's take, for example, Delta Airlines, DAL, that we featured here yesterday is one of the stocks on the radar, which closed up 4.8% after it predicted the double benefit from the US corporate tax cut savings on its own bill and an uptick in business travel as companies to spend tax savings. Or, for example, KBH. KBH, another member of Stocks on the Radar from yesterday, also had a great day after posting a better than expected quarterly profit. The stock rose 12.3%, what a huge movement yesterday on an intraday basis even. Now, in our top trader course, which is an advanced course for traders with experience, we teach many great professional techniques. And today I want to show you one very simple yet powerful technique I'm using today on a daily basis every day. The same technique I used, by the way, once I traded in Wall Street for one of the biggest trading firms there. It's a technique that can make all the difference in the world to a trader. It's a momentum strategy that you can use starting five minutes after market open. All right, so let's just get into um, KBH and I'll show you that on KBH. Um, the technique called the magical five minutes breakout and it goes like this. All you have to do is bracket the high of the first five minutes bar. Then use that to get into a trade throughout the day. So the simplest form of this strategy is to buy breakouts of the range to the upside. So for example, on KBH, I'm putting it on uh, the screen, I'm just putting a line above the high of the first five minute candle and once it bridged, this is when I'm buying. Now, it won't work on any stock, so actually um, choosing the right stock for this mission is the most important ingredient if you want to make big money using this strategy. Many times, the stocks on the radar I'm featuring every day in the pre-market videos will do the job. So you want to make sure you have them on your screens. 
for the breakout to succeed, you must know and understand there is a big interest in the stock, not among your friends, not among your family or neighbors. They are meaningless. Are you kidding me? They are not the one who drive stocks up or down. We are talking about institutions. We are talking about the heavy money of funds. So we need to find a stock which has on a specific day an inclination to go up, a stock on fire, a hot stock, a stock that the big boys in Wall Street are willing to chase. This is the only reason a stock will move up on a specific day. It's all come down to a fundamental catalyst. All the stocks on the rudder list have a fundamental catalyst, which means a very big financial reason for Wall Street institutions to buy or sell. So actually, I will put the stocks on the rudder on my screens. I'm interested at those stocks which opens with a big gap. A big gap tells you there is a massive underlying support and interest ar around the stock. It means Wall Street, Wall Street boys are willing to chase the price and this is exactly what we want. So as you can see here, KBH opened with a significant gap, a gap up after closing um, the previous day around 34.39. It opened the day massively higher at 36.64. So this is one of the ingredients to have a big gap up. So let the first five minutes bar complete and then you place a buy order above the high of the first candle. Many times you'll get triggered already in the second bar like we see here uh, right now on KB Home, on KBH, uh, but there are times it will take one or two hours for it to get triggered. We want to benefit from any opportunity. So let's see how it worked yesterday on the stocks on the radar. Actually we had yes yesterday three stocks, KBH, PRGS and DAL. So KBH, as we see right now, um, we got triggered above 36.64, the high of the first five minutes candle. And just holding it, you know, of course, taking maybe taking partial profits along the, do, the, the, along the way, but um, the stock finished at 38.58. This is about $2 per share in one day. Let's switch to um, PRGS, all right? The same rules, the same technique. It opens with a huge gap up. The previous close um, was at 43.66. It opened yesterday at 47.69. Um, we just bracket the high of the first five minute candle exactly as I'm doing right now. So above 48.20 we are in a trade and holding the stock till the end of the day and you are out around 50.62. So from 48.20 to um, 50.61, this is about $2.40 per share. These are massive gains, you have to understand that. Let's switch to DAL, the last member of the stocks on the radar list from yesterday also started the day with a gap up. The high of the first five minutes is 57.50. Now, what's interesting here that we didn't go triggered right after the finish of the first five candle. Actually, you see that the first, the first five minutes candle uh, was a red bar, but as I said, um, we want to benefit from all opportunities and that got triggered later in the day around noon, uh, 10 minutes after one o'clock. And this is also a great opportunity. As you can see here, above 57.50, um, the stock actually finished the day at 58.50. This is one and a half dollars. Use it and profit from it. Remember that professional stock traders are using the very same technique day in and day out. All right, so we are with Stocks on the Radar for Friday. Be sure you have the list on your screens. Um, today is the first round of big releases uh, for this earnings season. We get reports from a few of the banking giants, including Wells Fargo, JP Morgan, and PNC Financial. The market, or also BlackRock, um, the market appears to be very confident that corporate results 
will be strong enough to keep the good times rolling. Uh, economic data may also attract attention today with traders uh, likely to keep a close eye on reports on retail sales and this is a, a very good reason to put some um, retail retailers on your screens as well and we are going to have also consumer price inflation both reports ahead of the start at half past eight uh, eastern time also today the ipo market is going to open for 2018 with lbrt liberty oil field services based in denver colorado this is a company giving services to onshore oil and natural gas exploration and production companies. This company has already tried to go public back in May 2017, but then postponed the offering twice after it didn't get the price it wanted. Maybe third time will make the magic. Um, we are going to follow that today. Have a great trading day, traders. Also, I want to wish you a wonderful weekend with your families, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.